Hi, welcome to Wrinkle Society of Hope. My name is Summer. Wrinkles is a platform built for women to share their stories of the wrinkles in life they have to press through in order to become the women that they are today. You see, Wrinkle stands for women rejoicing in nourished, courageous with a K, life encouraging stories. Women who care enough to share. I would love to have you come and share your story with the Wrinkles family to share and provide motivation and encouragement for women to press through and continue to move forward. Also, today you are going to hear a story from one of those courageous women. And I'm asking you, if you can, give her a thumbs up and also hit subscribe and share our Wrinkles family with other people so that we can grow our family share with other people and also build a foundation of support for those women that are going through wrinkles today i'm so happy you came today hello wrinkles family i am super excited to have this dynamic woman that I've been following myself for a while now and we have now really connected finally after so many years one of our mutual friends connected us so please introduce yourself to the wrinkles family hi my name is Stephanie Felder and I am the creator and founder of fit safe life among other things but that's what I'm doing right now right now yes because i know you've been creating so many things over the few years that i've known of you i've seen you and i've been following you and um been an inspiration for me so i'm so great to finally have you here with us so we're going to get started with your young vibrant face with no wrinkles that i can <laughs> see it all but if you would get a physical wrinkle what do you think and how do you think you will feel about that I would be fine with it because I think wrinkles just show that you have lived, that you have experienced, that you have a background. Um, my grandmother had the most beautiful wrinkles, so <laughs> I would be glad to, to join her and get those wrinkles. So Beautiful. And do you mind me asking, how old are you? I just turned 50. See, I thought you were older than me. Would you look? 10 years younger than me so you look like in your 30s that's why i had to ask <laughs> wow you look amazing thank you oh i hope i look as vibrant as you at 50. <laughs> <laughs> just well, 50 july yeah july well happy this is your 2020 yeah you can never yes. gonna forget right <laughs> <laughs> never, never. <laughs> <laughs> Been waiting probably all this time for the big 50 and it comes during 2020, during the COVID. Hey, you know, my 50th birthday was nothing like I had hoped or planned. I had originally planned to take my kids and my husband. We were going to go on a Disney vacation. We've never been on a cruise. And so we were supposed to leave two days after my birthday. Oh, and so, man. Yeah, it was... <laughs> But you know what? It's the way it was supposed to be. So yeah. I'm yeah. happy. It's unforgettable for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, at 50 years here on earth, you probably have been through some wrinkle in life, maybe one or two. Um, so can you tell us about one of those wrinkles in your life that you had to press through? Um, yeah. I you know, of course, in everybody's life, you, you have a few. But I think the biggest wrinkle in my life um, that I had to press through was um, losing my mother at the age of 13. Um, she was only 48, so she didn't have any wrinkles either when she passed away. And it really changed and shaped uh, my life and the way that I approach life. Um, I took on the same profession as she did. Um, she was a teacher, and, and I'm a teacher. That's my profession. And, um, you know, it, it made me have to really learn a lot in a young age. Uh, my father was definitely a driving force, but, you know, it's not the same as having a mom, especially as a teenage girl. Yeah. And, you know, it made me have to 
become independent in a lot of ways and learn about, I mean, I have an older sister who's eight years older. So thankfully, you know, she was old enough that she could guide me a little bit, but she was still young herself. I mean, she was 22 years old and she was newly married, just had a baby. And so, you know, it was kind of like, all right, kid, you stand up on your own two feet and, you know, make it happen. So that's kind of how I had to press through with that. I mean, that, that's a major wrinkle, but <laughs> it definitely is one of those things where it gives you um, drive, it gives you an understanding of life that sometimes people don't have until later on. Mm, so you have to grow up a little bit faster. Definitely. definitely. Mm-hmm. What would you tell that young 13 year old that just lost her mother, knowing everything that you've been through and the woman that you are now, what would you tell her today? You know, interestingly enough, um, I don't know whether it was God or what it was, but my mom seemed to already know, not that she knew she wasn't going to be there, but the way that she used to talk to me, she really told me a lot of things that you would think you would tell an adult. So Mm -hmm. she always, you know, was able to like teach me things that I, I didn't realize why she was teaching them. but. I think if I were to tell that 13 year old anything, it was, it would be that um, you're going to be okay. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, that's something that, I mean, I'm glad that you're bringing that up because there's some people, unfortunately, some young girls right now that have lost a parent, a mother due to COVID or some other things. And, you know, some of these young girls, how are they dealing with losing their mothers, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's good to know that see you still growing and being successful after using, losing your mom at such a young age that Mm -hmm. you can show that pressing through that can not only build you into the strong woman that you are. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, it, it definitely gave me, um, fortitude. (laughs) to be able to do some things. But, you know, it also gave me a reason, too. Um, Part of the reason why I I do the other thing I do with, you know, Fit Faith Life is that my mom died of um, an aneurysm, a brain aneurysm, and um, she had high blood pressure pretty much my entire life. And it's funny because she thought she was overweight, but by today's standards, she was normal. But back then, 1983, that was, you know, she was a little bit overweight and she always battled with that. And, you know, it just really is one of those things that I want women to understand, like, you should be healthy, but don't make that your entire focus, you know, like, you need to be healthy and do what's right for your body for you so that you're healthy. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. We'll definitely touch on that more. But now that you have turned the big 5 and wearing it gracefully, and you let's say you got a T-shirt made, what would that T-shirt say that represents you today? Uh, my T-shirt would say just plain faith in action. <laughs> that's, that's it. My life is faith in action. That's, that's great because you're pushing through that with faith and you're showing it with some action, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's strong. That's powerful. I can't wait to see you wear that shirt. You got to get that shirt made. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, like, Ooh, maybe I should get that one made. <laughs> Everybody that, like, bring up their shirts and on here, all of a sudden, they're like, These are, that's a great idea. I might get that shirt, you know? <laughs> And I think that's good. I like that. So when you get it, then after that, I can buy it off of you. How about that? Okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. So talk to people about the, I know you have your backdrop, which is, you know, love your backdrop, but talk to people about that. Tell people what you're doing to help us women and people. I think women, not just women, but everybody. What are you doing to help us out here? Well, um, when I turned 40, I was blessed to have my first child. (laughs) And um And you look like this at fifty you had your first child at forty? Yes. (laughs) 
<laughs> and then I had my second child at almost 42. I was 41, and then I turned 42 like a few weeks later. And um, both times I gained 50 pounds ish. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, this is not me. Like, I just can't do this. And so the other part of it was, I was like, I want to be here for them. I don't want the same fate as my mom, right? So I really needed to get myself together and get myself healthier and I wanted to be an example for them. And I also wanted to be able to like get on the floor with them and not be like, oh my God, how am I going to get up? You know, that <laughs> that's not fun. Um, so, and there were some days like that at first, but you know, um, I wanted to just really be strong and healthy and live a long life for them. So what I did was I just went on a journey of losing that baby weight and so when I started out, really, this was about a mom journey. It wasn't really a faith journey. Mm -hmm. But along the way, I realized that there's a lot that correlates between exercising your faith and exercising your body. Mm -hmm. So that's when I created Fit Faith Life. Because I started off as a mommy blogger, and it was Team Fit Mommy. And it, it was going to be all about mom. But... I also realized that I wasn't real comfortable with putting my kids out there on social media. I didn't want their pictures everywhere for, you know, you know, yeah. just in case people try to steal them, you know, yeah. just weird stuff that people do. So mm -hmm. I was like, I wasn't real comfortable with that. And I was more comfortable with just putting myself out there and then just really talking about faith and fitness. So what I do is one, I, I have a blog, I, I write and I talk about faith. Um, I talk it's a Christian blog, so I really lean in on that. Um, but I also lean in on the fitness piece because you need your temple to be healthy and whole and full so that you can serve. Because there's so many people who are in the church that are ill. And, um, you know, you're, they're walking around with high blood pressure, diabetes. And the first thing a lot of church people do after church is go to the buffet. <laughs> so, you know. Church chicken, yeah. <laughs> right. So it's like, um, I just wanted to bring a different perspective to not only the world, but also to people who are in the church and give them a way to have a balance between um, faith and their fitness. I like to say that what I do is the intersection of faith and fitness. What do you think is the hardest for people to make that change or the transition or the lifestyle change? What's the hardest? I think people see it as they're giving up something instead of what they're gaining. You know, is when you are making changes, we all, I mean, any change in life, it's not just about faith, or, I mean, about fitness. It's what am I, I have to give that up. Yeah. You're not giving up anything. You're gaining so much more. I mean, that's the same thing with your faith. I mean, when you give your life to God, people are always like, oh, I'm not ready to do that. I got to give up. No, you don't have to give, you don't have to give up anything. Yeah. You know, you, you just come, come as you are, and it'll fall away. And it's yeah. the same with fitness. You know, you're not giving up those candy bars. You're gaining, you know, eating healthy eating strategies yeah and you know you can still eat a candy bar if you want every now and then but you it's going to fall away because the more you do what's good for you the less you want to do what's not that's awesome that's awesome can you tell me like weight wise how long and where did you go from because you said you had the baby weight so how long did it take and where you know how much pounds did you lose sure um i started off I was a little bit over 200 pounds, but I, I generally say I started at 200 mm -hmm. um, and I had gotten down to 150 and it took me about eight months to do that. Now I was able to keep that off for about four and a half years and then I went back to work. So I've gained a few back, but you know, I'm also 52, so. yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, 
oddly enough, during this pandemic, I actually lost almost 20 pounds. So, wow. you know, it can be done and it's a, a sustainable lifestyle. It's not, you know, one where I'm just like binging or, you know, cutting off and not eating or fasting all the time. Yeah. Well, how can we follow? Because I'm saying we, because I'm definitely wanting to make that huge transition. I'm, I'm this is a real thing, you know, wrinkles is real. So this is my biggest wrinkle right now. I'm being upfront and honest. And I didn't even reach out to you for this. I just saw it and I saw your logo and I was like, Oh, she got something new. I got to hit her up, you know, but <laughs> this is my transition that I need to do right now. So right. how can we, um, you know, be following you or what is the steps that we need to take? Well, I, do, I have a website and it's all the same thing. So, Website, Instagram, Facebook, it's all Fit Faith Life. So if you want to follow me on Facebook, um, I also have a private Facebook group for those that are interested where I give a little bit more detail than what I just put on you know, my regular Facebook page. Um, Instagram, I actually have two pages. One is Fit Faith Life and the other is Fierce Faith, Fierce Fitness. So, but you can get to either of them through the other because I have them linked together. So, um, and then I'm on Twitter, but you know, I'm on all of it. So you can everywhere. reach out to me any kind of way you want. Um, I'm 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 everywhere. Um, also, I mean, my email is also fitfaithlife at gmail. At gmail. Okay. Well, we got all the links and yes. all the ways to connect and we definitely are going to connect. And also it will be on uh wrinkle society of hope.org. I'll have a link there um, for you all can go right to our website and click on the find out more. And I will have uh, one link there that you can go and find her as well. So thank you so much for coming to wrinkles today. Oh, thank you for inviting me. This was so great. So great. I'm so I'm thankful that this is something that is real and people need to know this. And um, especially sharing your wrinkle with your mother, high blood pressure, being in our community very highly. Um, and people need to take our health serious yes. and our faith because faith yeah. is going to push us through anything. So Yes, yes. That's, I think, what for 2020, that is the theme, I think. That's gotten me through just leaning on my feet. Me also. So thank you so much, Wrinkles. Have a good night.